Hello, I'm David Lang in the Department of Allergy and Clinical Immunology in the Respiratory Institute at the Cleveland Clinic. If you have seafood allergy, are you at increased risk from an infusion of contrast media or x-ray dye? Or if you've had a previous reaction to a contrast infusion, does that mean that you need to avoid eating seafood or that you're allergic to iodine? This question was recently addressed by the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology in its Choosing Wisely recommendations. The recommendation states, don't routinely order low or isoosmolar radio contrast media or pretreat with corticosteroids and antihistamines for patients with a history of seafood allergy who require radio contrast media. Let me explain. Contrast media or x-ray dye is frequently administered. It's one of the most commonly prescribed drugs, although it's being prescribed for diagnostic purposes. It's one of the most commonly prescribed drugs in North America. About one to two percent of people who receive contrast media will have an adverse reaction that simulates an allergic reaction. It's occurring because of the physical chemical properties of these media, the contrast dye, and leads to release of histamine and other mediators that in some individuals generates a reaction that, that is similar to a generalized allergic reaction. So itching, hives, swelling, uh, sensation of throat constriction, difficulty breathing, drop in blood pressure, some reactions are serious or even life-threatening. Now, there are some individuals who have had previous reactions of this nature who require another contrast procedure. Those people have an elevated risk of reaction with re-exposure to contrast media compared with the general population, among whom, again, it's 1% to 2%. In those people, it's elevated in a range of about 17 to 35 percent. And again, those reactions can be potentially serious or even life-threatening. When we see a patient who is a prior reactor, we can prescribe pretreatment with antihistamine and steroids. Benadryl taken one hour prior to the procedure, prednisone 50 milligrams, 13.7 and one hour prior to the procedure. And that pretreatment regimen has been shown to reduce the rate of reaction from 17 to 35% among prior reactors to 5 to 14%. And the reactions which tend to occur are milder in degree. Now, if we combine that with, that is, the pretreatment with use of a newer or lower isosmolar contrast material, which is safer, the reaction rate in prior reactors drops to less than 1%. In addition to prior reactors being at elevated risk, individuals with asthma, with heart disease, or taking a medication called a beta blocker may also be at elevated risk and are judged to be candidates for pretreatment. However, there is no convincing evidence in the world's medical literature which supports the contention that individuals with real or suspected seafood allergy are at elevated risk for these reactions. There is a misunderstanding regarding this such that when you go for your contrast study and you state that you suspect or you know that you're allergic to seafood, you may be told to take pretreatment with antihistamine and steroid. And there's no evidence that that recommendation is warranted. Similarly, if you have had a reaction to a contrast infusion, you may have been told that this places you at elevated risk for an allergic reaction to seafood 
compared with the general population. Or you may have been told that you're allergic to iodine. That's not the case. In fact, nobody's allergic to iodine in terms of a true allergy. There's iodine in table salt. So this is important, and, and the American Academy of Allergy and Immunology has released this recommendation because phone survey data indicate that about 3.5% of United States residents consider themselves to have seafood allergy. According to um, population estimates for the year 2013, that translates into about 10.5 million Americans. So that's a lot of people who may be regarded as being candidates for pretreatment who really aren't. Thank you for your attention.